Howdy, y'all. Welcome to the Beverly Hillbillies Facts and Trivia. Y'all kick off the shoes and you set a spell, all right? Now here's your host for the show, that old Kentucky boy himself, Mr. Bob Snap. Hi, right, guys. Welcome to the Beverly Hillbilly Spikes and Trivia. Appreciate you being here. Um, today's video is on Double Knot 7, the Jethro to Spy. So actually, the episode was called uh, Double Knot Jethro, but you know what I'm talking about. Uh, I, got some, I got some facts for you about it and some more quotes, which I just love, absolutely love. I watched some more. This is where I got it today. I was watching the episode on... Uh, Pluto today from the Beverly Hillbillies. I'm, I'm really uh, getting into Beverly Hillbillies again and watching a lot of it. So you'll be getting some of these like this. I hope you are enjoying them. Anyway, let's check this out with some facts and some quotes from Jethro of Lot 7. Uh, the title refers to both the double zero de designation of the movies by uh, James Pond and Jethro's use uh, for the term not the number zero. Mabel Slocum gives her measurements as 36, 23, 36. According to Playboy, when she was a playmate, her measurements were 34B, 24, 34. In the James Bond lore, the double zero, or not, as Jethro says, is designation uh, giving that agent license to kill. The movie that Jethro is referring to is Goldfinger where uh, a girl is painted gold and left in James Bond's bed, and a character that throws his hat as a weapon is called Odd Job. This is the second time Drysdale tried to win a beauty contest by entering Ellie Mae, pretending she was an employee of the bank. Uh, the other was a, the race for queen. Now let's look for some quotes. What do you say? Uh, between Jethro and Jed, Jethro states, Uncle Jed, get a hold of yourself. I got some bad news for you. What is it, boy? I hope this ain't going to break your heart, but I just got to say it. Well, come on, get it over with. Uncle Jed, I decided I ain't going to be a brain surgeon. Uncle Jed says, well, I reckon I can bear up under that. <laughs> oh, and, Gran and Granny with Jethro, you mean to say you spent my vittle money on movie? Well, I spent some of the money on vittles. There's box popcorn, a half a dozen candy bars, and a couple of giant orange drinks. Uh, Granny to Jed, are you going to hickory switch him or am I? Jethro says, ain't nobody going to hickory switch me. She says, what did you say? Double knot spies don't get switched. Part near cut in two by death rays, handcuffed by atom bombs, have iron hats thrown at them, but they wouldn't hold still for a switching. <laughs> and Jethro explaining the plot of the movie Goldfinger. The bad guys was after Fort Knox, and if old Not Not Seven hadn't taken a hand the next time Uncle Sam needed gold, he'd have been milking a dry cow. I'm telling you, I just watched the episode, and it is so funny. It is so funny. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I really do. Um, if you got anything you want to see about the show, let me know in the comments. <coughs> I got a cough I can't get rid of. Um. <clears throat> Please check out classic rock and country music facts and trivia. <coughs> Sorry. Classic TV facts and trivia. Please check them out. I would have really appreciate it. Uh, viewership over there has gone way down, and I need to pick it up. Uh, this stuff, at least on the classic TV stuff, I know you'd like. So please check that out. And if you need to get over there, uh, the in the description below this video is the links to get to uh, each channel. So. But if you can't get to that, let me know. I'll shoot it to you in the comment section. Have a great day. I've got a call for you. So have a great day. God bless you, and I'll be praying for you.